What's happening everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to be building some real world AI Python programs. Yeah, you have heard me correct. We are going to be building our very own AI teacher or tutor. So without further ado guys, please don't forget to like this video, pop me something friendly in the comments, share this with your friends and family and a follow on TikTok or a subscribe on YouTube would motivate me like crazy. So enough chitty chat 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 guys, let us get started. So now firstly, which is the best AI model which comes with the free API key? That is the Google Gemini Pro AI model with the free API key. Woohoo! So how do we get our hands on that? What you want to do is that you want to head over into your web browser and navigate to ai.google.dev. Instantly on the home page, you'll be able to get your API key within the, a the Google AI Studio. So you just want to navigate into that. Now within our Google AI Studio, we are given a web interface to prompt as well the capabilities of getting our API key on the left hand side where you just need to navigate to. Now you can either add your API key to a new Google console project or to an existing one. So once you have added your, your API key to one of your projects, you will be able to get your actual API key. So you just want to copy that and give that and keep that safe. Then you just want to close your web browser and head over into VS Code. Now in VS Code you can see I've created a new main folder called AI Teacher. I've created a virtual environment and now we are going to simply activate that virtual environment and start downloading and installing the libraries which we need. And we only need one and that is the Google Generative AI Library. So quickly let's activate our virtual environment. So we'll type the name of our virtual environment forward slash scripts forward slash activate. Then we know that our virtual environment is activated when we can see it in brackets on the left hand side. Now we can go ahead and start downloading and installing the library which we need. And I said it is the Google Generative AI library. So you simply type in pip install Google dash generative AI. Just give that a few moments to download and install. Boom. And then once that is done, we can close our terminal and head over into our main directory and create our Python main dot par file so what we're going to do first is that we're going to import the libraries configure our ai and then we're going to create a main function for our ai tutor so firstly to import our libraries we're going to import the google generative ai library as my ai okay so it's import google dot generative ai as my ai boom there we go that looks about a lot better, my apologies. Okay, so now let us configure our model and select our model and then we're going to create a function. So to configure our AI model, we're going to say my configure. open and close our brackets and in there we're going to give the variable API underscore key is equals to our API which we just got within our Google AI Studio. Then we simply just need to select our model. So we create the variable model equals to my AI dot generative model with capital M and a capital G. Open, <coughs> open, uh, sorry about that. Open our bracket, single inverted commas, and there we are selecting the Gemini dash pro model. Boom. Now we can start with our function. So to create a function, what do we do? We, we say define and then the name of our function, we're just going to call it our main function whoops not fef define our main function with a colon and then yeah we just we're going to take two user inputs why because when we need a teacher we need to know the topic of what they want to study since we are an overall teacher with ai and we need to know the level in which they need to study like beginner intermediate or advanced so we're going to create the variable topic which will give us the topic from the user. So topic equals, and then we need input. So we'll put input, open our brackets, double inverted commas, and in there we are going to type, what would you like to learn? Boom, and a question mark. Then secondly, we need the level of learning. So we'll create the variable level of underscore learning, and that is equal to an input as well, because we need to know the level of learning from our user, double inverted commas and we can just say there what level of learning would you like okay and then we can just put in brackets 
beginner, intermediate, or advanced. Awesome. So now that we have our two users or the two inputs which we need from our user to understand what they want to learn and also the level in which they want to learn then we can start with our prompt so now firstly we're going to be creating two prompts firstly we want a breakdown of all of the chapters and sub chapters for that certain category of learning as well as that level and then we're going to constantly pass those chapters into our ai every time the user wants to ask to learn a certain chapter or module so this will be our first prompt so it will be F double inverted commas and in there we will say provide the chapters and sub chapters for fully learning and then in here to pass our variables into an F string is our curly brackets and then we'll put in the topic and then on the on the level of a and then in your curly brackets and we'll put the level underscore of underscore learning. Boom. So now that we have our first prompt, now we're going to start generating that response. So then we can put that response into a TXT file. So then we can pass it constantly with the response from the user. And the user doesn't know that we're giving this back to our AI model. So underneath that, we'll create the variable response is equals to our model dot generate underscore content. And in there, what do we need to pass we what do we want a response from we want it from our prompt so in there you simply put in our prompt now we are going to be storing our text response in a variable as well so then we can put that variable into a text or all of that data from that variable into a txt file so we're going to create the the variable chapter underscore content is equal to our response but we want only the text response so it's response dot text then the viewer needs to view the chapter breakdown so then they can select the chapter which they'd like to learn right so we're going to print open our brackets and in there we're going to give the chapter underscore content now we want to take our chapter content as well not just print it out to the user we want to save it into a txt file so then every time the user prompts i want chapter two we're going to upload the txt as well so then the ai knows what chapter two is and what information it needs to give to us right so we're going to say with open open our brackets and then let us create the txt file called chapters okay so we'll say chapters.txt then we want it to right to our our file so to do that single inverted commas and you put a double and then out of our inverted commas we want to open this as a file so as file with a colon and underneath there we'll say file dot write open our brackets and we want it to write our chapter content boom so now that we have our file our chapter content within a txt file now we're just going to inbound two and while it is true while this all has happened and it has happened and nothing else has gone wrong so while true with our colon now we are going to ask the user what chapter and module would they like to learn so we'll create the variable chapter underscore request is equals to a user input and we need to ask the user what chapter and sub chapter would you like to learn all right then after that we need to then that's going to loop so now how do we get out of our loop once the user is done we can't just have our program constantly running right so underneath that we are simply just going to say if chapter underscore request so if our text from our request is lower so if it's all in lowercase open and close oh, <laughs> then i'm not putting lowercase here is lower open and close our brackets then you would just want to give a double equal sign and then double single inverted commas and if it is equal to exit then our program must stop so it must break boom so now over here what we're going to do in our inputs as well at the end here we're just going to put in brackets that they can type exit to quit boom okay so now we also have our extra strategy of our script but now if they do give us an input of what chapter and sub chapter they would like to learn then we simply type with open why because we need to open our txt file to give this with the response from the user as well so then our ai model knows exactly what chapter and module it must do if we don't give it with the txt file and we tell it chapter two it's going to be like hey my bro what about chapter two i don't know what i need to do so we're going to say with open open our brackets 
single inverted commas and in there we'll type our chapters.txt file and in there we go to put comma and what we wanted to do we don't want it to write this time we wanted to read so that it's two single inverted commas with an r and then again we go we want to read that as a file then now once we have selected our file we wanted to read it so we simply say chapter underscore content is equal to our file dot read open and close our brackets boom so now we have passed our txt into our ai as well or we have opened it and read our content so now we can start passing it through our ai along with their prompt so to do that we are going to say detailed underscore response or rather not response detailed prompt rather where is my head at is equal to and then we have to create another f string to pass our variable so we'll say in our f string we'll instantly give our chapter content then underneath that we want to skip a couple of lines for our prompt so you put forward slash n forward slash n so we'll skip our line twice and we'll just say there please explain in detail then with a colon and there we can put in our curly brackets with our chapter request which the user gave us chapter underscore request boom so we are passing through our chapters which we have read from our txt file as well as we are asking the a uh, please explain in detail the chapter request which has been given in the variable and inputted by our user in the variable chapter request where we gave our input statement boom so now once we have that now we need to get our response from our ai to start educating our user correct so to do that we are going to give the variable response again and then response is equal to our model dot generate underscore content open our brackets and what prompt where what response do we want back from our detailed prompt so we just put in our brackets the variable detailed prompt now we need to print our message so we're going to need, or no before we print anything it's going to come back with a whole lot of data but we only want the text data so to do that we're going to create the variable message underscore contents again and we'll say that that is equal to our response dot text so then we only get our text response and boom there we go now we can just simply print our generated text so we'll just say generate or let's say yeah is your lesson okay with a colon and then whoops this needs to be in double inverted commas because it's not a variable so we'll say yeah is your lesson in double inverted commas next to that we're going to put a comma and we are going to pass our variable message underscore content boom now that's literally it now we want to run our programs whoops i've just indented my my uh, brackets over there so there we go now if we want to run our main function how do we do that so we simply indent right back to the beginning and we'll say f with two underscores and we'll say name two underscores is with double equals equals to our main two underscores okay uh, this needs to be an inverted commas okay and we put our colon then what must it do it must run our main function boom there we go ladies and gentlemen so that is how simple it is that you can create your own ai tutor so let me add my api key and let's test if our program works so boom there we go i've added my api key now let us run our program so now you can see the terminal starts Da -da -da -da, moments of truth what would you like to learn so what are we learning guys <laughs> Social media marketing. Social media marketing. Okay. Well, it, well, if we don't spell media right, well, we're not going to get very far. Social <laughs> media marketing. Okay. And then what level would you like to learn? So let's say that we are a big beginner okay there we go boom there we go now we got all of our chapters from our ai so let's say that we want to learn chapter chapter one module one right and then it also says that we type exit to exit so let us just see here let's say that we want to learn chapter one and module one boom there we go so it exactly knows so it is giving our txt file into our response or into our prompt as well so then our ai knows exactly what it's talking about 
Don't believe me? Let's try chapter 3, module 1. Okay, let's give it something out of the blue. So let us just go back and let's see what module 3, something 1 is. Uh, module 1, which is types of social media content, right? So let's go to the bottom here. Has it answered us? Let's just double check. Yes, it has. So where is that response? Yes, they have models. This module explores the diverse range of content formats available. So, <laughs> boom! And it's exactly right. Our AI knows exactly it has a memory and everything so now let's last thing we need to check our exit so if we type exit there we go our program closes there we go ladies and gentlemen there's a full quick a real world ai example for you so if you enjoyed this as much as i did please don't forget to give this video a like and a follow on tiktok or a subscribe on youtube would really help my growth a lot so until the next video guys cheers